Hi, Rob Smythe here. In an earlier video, I discussed the question, is the statement God exists a scientific question? I maintain that there is a division, a very solid wall between science and religion. And by religion, I group belief, philosophy, whatever discipline you get your information from pure thought rather than observation. I maintain that Science doesn't say God doesn't exist. Science just doesn't say anything about God. That's all there is to it. Science prefers, in fact, insists that a God explanation for a phenomenon is not allowed on the science side of that divide between science and religion. And is that because the God hypothesis is false? No. It's just because, basically, it's not useful. Suppose we wonder what are the causes of canyons like the Grand Canyon. One cause could be that there was a prairie, a flat land millions of years ago, and the river was trickling along there, and the river kept gouging out a little bit of sand, and it got a deeper and deeper channel, and after millions of years, by now it's cut its way down hundreds of meters, and that's the Grand Canyon. All right, there's the river made the Grand Canyon hypothesis. There could be a God hypothesis. You could just say, God made a canyon and stuck a river at the bottom. Well, that's irrefutable. A scientist can't say, well, no, it's not. There's no evidence for that. There's no evidence against that either. The whole idea is a God hypothesis cannot be argued against. That's why it's not a scientific statement. Now, is it true? Maybe it is. But from a scientific point of view, the issue isn't whether it's true or not. The issue is whether it's useful or not. And a God explanation is not useful. For somebody who says, God made the canyon that stuck a river there, I could say, well, there's a canyon over there. See over there, there's a canyon. Do you think there's a river at the bottom of that one? person would say, well, it depends whether God wanted to put a river at the bottom of that one. That's all you can say. Whereas a scientist could say, yes, if the theory is that rivers cut canyons, then if there's a canyon over there, there's probably a river at the bottom. And so that's testable. We can just go over there and take a look. Right? If we go over and take a look and there's no river, then the scientific explanation isn't very good, right? If we go over there and find there's no river, then to the religious person, it just meant that God decided not to put a river at the bottom of that canyon, right? The God hypothesis does not advance knowledge, in other words. Let's go back to the scientific explanation. The scientific explanation is useful for lots of other reasons. We could, for example, put a trap at the bottom of the river and catch all the sand that comes down the river in a year. We could divide by the surface area of the river and figure out how far it went down that year. We could then take a look at the canyon walls and find out when the river started going down. We could see all the rock levels and know about what year, at each of those levels, at what year the river was at that level. We could then look at the fossils that are sticking out of those rocks and have an idea of what year they were buried. So we get all this information, all this knowledge, from the scientific explanation of rivers cut canyons. That's why it's useful. The God explanation is useless. It might be right, but it's not useful.